Hi everybody. Welcome to tutorial number two, setting up Mac 7 to work for you. Um, we just downloaded and installed Macs in the first tutorial and there we were uh, deciding whether or not to take the handy tour. Um, if you did, that's great. Um, I'm not going to go to go on the tour with you. Uh, not that I wouldn't enjoy it, but I've already done that myself. Instead, I'm going to open um, Mac 7 up. Uh, my tutorial is still in Mac 6 because this is a brand new installation of Mac 7 and I, like yourselves, don't have the ability to do anything yet in Mac 7. So what I'm going to do is go up here and get a new file and just select a new patcher up there at the top or you can push command N on a Macintosh that's probably control N on a PC and you get this window and you'll notice if you look at this window that there's this big green thing here that says trial not started therefore saving disabled okay so no matter when you downloaded it you can play with Max all you want but you can't do anything um, until you sign in create an account and start your free trial so that's what we're going to do first we're going to click on this green bar and we get a Max authorization window and you may have to create a new account I um, already have an account for years here so I'm going to sign into my account um, but if you have to create an account just go ahead and do that and then I'm going to sign into my account and get the little beach ball there check that we're connected to the internet we are thank goodness um, here's my email address for anyone who wants to send me an email and my secret password and we go ahead and sign in and oh right <laughs> I used the wrong password this will probably happen to you uh, let's try that again try that look at that green bar there we go so it looks like um, I, I bought a full license you won't need to do that you'll probably see if you buy the um, educational license or whatever you'll get that on here so it now this machine is authorized for me to use Max in your case um, you'll probably select uh, use the trial for 30 days and they'll tell you how many days you have left until you buy a license again we'll go over buying a license um, on a in a different video okay so let's just close this window because we're all set and here we have the um, this is called the max patcher window uh, let me zoom out a little bit so we get the rest of max here okay um, this is where you do um, two different things. You do all your work for Max in here, you edit, and you also run the patcher in here. But before we get to that stuff, we want to set Max up so that it works for us. And this is a really, really important thing to do. I can't stress that enough. Max needs to be able to find things on your computer. So what I've done is I've made a folder in my documents folder, another folder inside of my documents folder on my Mac. Again on a PC you can put this wherever you want but only put your Mac's documents in one place. So I'm gonna pull a finder window up here and go ahead and over here on the left I have a documents folder I could uh, go through you know my name doc oh, whoops not downloads documents 
and then see I've created a folder called max there's a new folder here called max7 and perhaps you could put something in here that had your documents in it but I prefer just to have my own max folder and you'll see why momentarily which is that I keep things in there like the titles to our last two videos um, and other things in here that I want to be able to move um, from version to version I mean when they come out with max 8 what am I going to do right so make yourself a folder remember where it is and then and uh, one other thing do not put a forward or backward slash in the name of the folder not that you would but just in case you were thinking of it don't do it it screws max up for some reason okay so make yourself that folder and then go back here to max go up to the top to options and go down here to file preferences this is where max goes to look for things that it's trying to find so you can see it has a user library John Reed documents max 7 library it has a global library that it's put into uh, on, on for all users and it has an examples uh, place that it goes to look for things great but we want it to be able to look in at least one more place so we're gonna come down here click the plus sign and you'll see user path 4 pops up here click on choose and you get the window back now navigate once again to your documents max and then um, I have to zoom out just to do this and then click open and what it does is it remembers that path and everything in that folder it can now find when it wants it I every semester have students who can't who their their um, patcher objects go sort of dead they don't function they try to get it to work and it just won't function and about half the time this is the problem so remember this if it can't find it it won't find it it's just a dumb old computer now I like to put um, other paths on here um, because I work a lot with music so I often um, I'll add another path and I will have it go to my music folder over here and um, we, I have a whole bunch of uh, different things but it can probably find all of them so I just click on the music folder and click open and now it can see that okay so we can put that away remember to do this if you decide to put your files anywhere um, well anywhere on your computer really but uh, anywhere other than the Mac 7 folder um, <clears throat> it's also worth noting that when you save your file so now we have a place to put it let's save this file and we're going to save it as so we come down here to save as alright let's just say that I'm a student in a class and I'm going to be handing things in for my cranky professor if I hand in my homework and it's labeled homework he probably will get about 50 or 60 files like that so what I would say is at least while you're doing work for this no matter what you're making include your initials so I'm gonna say this is JR and uh, homework <laughs> this poor old computer homework I typed this about a minute ago now one okay and I'm gonna save it that way in in fact it's really tutorial one so I will change it but that's okay this is homework for me JR homework one and I'm going to save it where I am going to save it in my max folder 
JR Homework 1. I'm saving it as a Max Patcher. And that's it. Saved. Okay, now you'll notice that up at the top here we have no green bar, so we're into our 30-day trial, or for me, I already have a license. And then we have our document here that we can save, and Max can find all of the goodies on our computer. And I would say that, but it's not really true. I, had, I noticed when I opened uh, Max on my other computer that when I went over here to the left-hand side and clicked on this, which is a really handy thing, new thing, in Mac 7. And let's see what it does there. It is the file browser. Well, this is the first time Max has run on this machine, and it's probably the first time it's run on your machine. So click on the file browser, and it's very likely that this will happen. No. Nope. It could be... <laughs> that the file browser will have to go through your entire computer and um, and look at everything on it. So on my computer it literally took it two hours to find everything on the computer. The computer I'm using right now is pretty much wiped clean so there's nothing on it. So this was instantaneous. But I would say as a as a way of getting ready for this class go ahead click on the file browser and it may go and index everything on your computer so that it can find various pieces of music and things like that. So that's great. We've got our file browser here and um, our collections and that is just fantastic. So very good. Max is now set up to work on your computer and that's all we're going to do in this tutorial. Um, I will talk to you later about uh, uh, getting started in Max, but now it's set up to run. Thanks for listening.